we were preparing to offer to pay off the debt of Mexico. You had predicted the same thing occurring, late 70s, early 80s. Take us back to that point in time. What are the lessons learned? It, uh, uh, well, it was, yeah, it, was, uh, it was my biggest lesson at the time. Uh, so, yeah, I went through the calculations, uh, and it was a very controversial point of view that these countries would not be able to pay their debts. And um, events started to transpire, um, and Mexico defaulted um, in August of 1982. And because I had anticipated that, and uh, I got a lot of attention, I was, you know, a young guy, and I was asked to uh, speak to Congress and explain to them what was going on, and I was on Wall Street Week. And uh, If you want to see Ray, you can go to a YouTube video uh, yeah, that's uh, uh, from a I, TED Talk that you could see him t testifying. Yeah, t uh, go to the TED Talk. It's, yeah. You'll see that moment. Um, and that moment, um, I'm testifying to Congress, I'm on Wall Street Week, and I figure we're going to have a hell of a debt crisis and the economy's going down. And that was the exact bottom in the stock market. I couldn't have been more wrong. I, I, I was so wrong. I had to, I had a small company then. I had, um, I think it was probably like seven, eight people or so. These were close people. I had to let them go. I was... Um, so broke that I had to borrow $4,000 from my dad to help to pay for my family bills. This was one of the most painful experiences. How much money were you managing at that time? Oh, I mean, nothing, at the, you know, I, I, can't, I can't remember, but not much. Um, and, uh, you know, and I, I scrapped myself up to that point. And, um, and it was the most painful and probably the best, most valuable experience I ever had in my life because it changed my approach to decision making. You know, I went from thinking um, I'm right to thinking how do I know I'm right? Um, it gave me the humility that I needed to balance with my audacity. It made me start to think, um, it made me want to find out the smartest people who disagreed with me and to understand their reasoning you know, have thoughtful disagreement. It led to me, it was the reason we wanted to make this idea meritocracy. It was the main reason. Like, give me the smartest people I can have around me, and let's have those arguments, and how do we get past those? And it led to the idea meritocratic. And it was really from that point forward that that, to knowing how to balance risk, like you, we talked about going into the Trump election, trying to make sure you balance risk, but also it taught me about looking at history, that the surprises that I had were um, things that happened in, in history but never happened in my lifetime before. Like in, in um, I was clerking on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange in 1971 when the dollar was floated. And so I walked on the floor, floor of the stock exchange and people wouldn't accept dollars in the money. And uh, I, I figured, okay, we're at major crisis. And, uh, um, and the stock market went up and I thought it was gonna go down a lot. You know, this is when I was, um, in college, um, and um, and I realized that it, when I went back, that there were devaluations that happened not in my lifetime before, but happened before. So it was to know that everything happens over and over again. This, the, these were the lessons. Lessons are the ability to have thoughtful disagreement, uh, so to raise the probabilities of being right, to find the smartest people who disagree with you and understand their reasoning, to know how to balance the bets well so that there's no one bet that becomes an important thing and, and you become dominated in an election or anything else, and also to, to go to history. That if, you, if things happened in the past or in some other country and you don't understand them, then you're going to be in trouble. So you need to have timeless rules and universal rules. So we have a criteria that every, all of our decision rules have got to be timeless and universal. So those are the lessons that I talk, took out of that very painful experiences. And that's really what has served me and Bridgewater well since then.